first take a look a live look at Hartfield Jackson Airport there in Atlanta the busiest airport in the world millions of Americans around the country are hitting the roads and the skies for Thanksgiving despite warnings from health experts to stay home. That's a startling image right there. This is the daily death toll tops 2000 for the first time since May. Dr. Anthony Fauci is joining us with the very latest on what we need to know ahead of this holiday weekend. But first, Gio Benitez is joining us now from LaGuardia Airport here in New York with more on the Thanksgiving exodus. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Cecilia, good morning. Yeah, we are definitely seeing a lot more travelers today. This is exactly what the head of TSA told us would happen. But now this morning, health officials are very concerned. Take a look. This could be one of the busiest travel days of the season. With air travelers already breaking records during the pandemic, more than 4 million people hitting the skies since Friday. Now TSA Administrator David Pekoski telling ABC News he expects even more travel. You know, between 900 and a million passengers uh, on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And then probably the busiest day of the entire weekend is going to be the Sunday, the return day. TSA lines have long been considered one of the riskiest parts of flying. So many people packed together touching those bins. Pekoski tells us this week TSA has opened more lanes. The whole idea is to allow passengers to social distance while they're queued up for TSA screening. Sarah Cooney is flying from Ohio to Pennsylvania to be with her family. Cincinnati and Philly airports relatively empty, people in masks. Um, just made it through security. It took me about five minutes. But social distancing at some airports can be hard. Just look at these images. And don't expect those empty middle seats on most flights. You may see some crowded planes like this. With Thanksgiving around the corner, testing sites across the country have cars lining up for hours as families hope to test negative before gathering together. But health officials are warning against a false sense of security. If you're negative today, you could be positive by Thanksgiving or Friday. This as the COVID crisis worsens across the country, another day of record hospitalizations. And for the first time since May, deaths surpass 2,000 per day. The Midwest getting hit hard. Montana, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, and Missouri now seeing the most positive tests. Montana at an 18.71% positivity rate. A glimmer of hope in Iowa, where just last week the governor implemented a mask mandate. The state seeing a slight decline in the number of new cases. And the CDC considering reducing the quarantine period for people exposed to the virus. Instead of 14 days, down to 7 to 10 days. The government hoping the change will get more people to comply. And we know about 48 million people are expected to drive for the holiday. If you're doing that, the CDC says that you should go ahead and only drive with members of your own household and try to make as few stops as possible to limit exposure. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.